I was going for like a romantical look, but I fear that I have crossed the line into 1980s professional. No comments about it. Also, any comments about me looking like a bird will have you dismissed from this channel most immediately. I'm kidding. It's, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. This is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 14th, 2022. Happy Valentine's Day. Look, I brought romance things. I seriously did not think this outfit out at all. Like look between the nails and the coat and the lace and the hair. I, I had to put red on. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Let's see what we are dealing with here. I'm just going to let me get all this stuff out of the way because I got so many cards everywhere. Let's just dive in and let's tune into the frequency of this week. If you still want to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. I have Akashic Records readings and angelic readings over there. And of course, if you would like to join the Archangel Aerial Meditation Challenge or any of the Archangel Meditation Challenges, just go to gumroad.com slash angel souls after this video i will be doing a writing session for one hour if you want to join and write with me then head on over to write with me it's on my channel there and you can sit and write with me why the heck not all right let's see what are the energies what are we dealing with here I'm just going to get all the cards out and get a full picture. King of Gabriel, Four of Michael, Strength, the High Priestess. Okay, here's the deal. So let me put them in order here and I'll read them all to you. King of Gabriel, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success genuine concern for others. Now this as a standalone message, this definitely talks about, well, maybe not a standalone message and we're going into strength here as well. This is talking about coming, bringing some creative project to life, maybe being a little more um, ready to co-create the next chapter of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like if you've been afraid to move forward if you've been afraid to try something new now you're finding the strength or maybe the inspiration or the understanding yeah there's some sort of understanding of how to move forward right so maybe solutions were not there or you just had not really clicked into okay you know what if i just do this then this can happen that sort of thing but this along with the other cards here this could definitely, this High Priestess card, this could definitely be some of you thinking of someone else. I know it's like Valentine's Day week. And so people are like, really, are we going into that message? But there could be someone, now this could be a friend. This could be, this could be someone create, uh, someone creative, yeah. <laughs> someone connected to a creative endeavor, all right? So it could be a colleague, it could be someone like that. And you just have some instinct here about you're getting clarity through your intuition. So whether you need to move away from this person or some of you have a telepathic connection, sure, if you believe in that, uh, you can feel in your heart that there's a discussion coming or um, I don't know, I, cause I feel like I'm already feeling that some of the audience is kind of gonna go down the road of, yes, my, my true love is out there or yes, I know there's someone to come in. Don't, I don't care who you are. Don't go into damsel in distress here even if it's in career, like I'm gonna wait for someone to come in and dump an opportunity <laughs> in my lap. What I'm getting at here is that there is something with someone, okay? Someone who's probably very, you know, could be very nurturing. Gabriel is a nurturing energy, but this depicts a male. It doesn't have to be male. It can just be masculine energy. Um, conflicting with this energy. This high priestess can be seen as a divine feminine, right? And so, there's somebody who's like, here, but here's the establishment. This is how things go. But the intuitive part of you is saying, mm, no, that's not in alignment with my values, my integrity. I'm not going to go down that road. Now, this card says powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. Now, that's where this comes in. All right. So there could be this sense of like, I feel the pull to whatever, whatever's going on in your life, to take that job with that person or to listen to that advice or 
maybe you are in a love partnership and you know <laughs> there's some there's conflict here but it's it's not bad i know we all just assume conflict is terrible and we want to avoid it at all costs what it does is it brings an issue to the surface all right so we're going to get deeper into this because this is a little confusing mes message for me too four of michael insights that come from quiet meditation see the need for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress you know what it feels like it feels like there's just a ton of pressure someone wants you to hurry up and get something done or hurry up and make a decision some of you this is pressure to get married this is pressure to get married i know i don't have like a marriage card here but i'm just feeling that coming up. Yeah, Archangel Haniel. Haniel is all about divine feminine. Someone means well. Someone means well. They want to help. They're coming forward, but they're coming at you wrong. Okay, they're coming at you wrong. So I don't I don't know if they're coming at you and going, well, you know, I can help you. And if you just do this, this, and this, then I will step forward. Or if it is a relationship type scenario, if you are just more like this, this, and this, then I would feel better about being in this relationship. And you're definitely, it's taking a little bit of strength here. Because maybe, I, I, I got to tell you, it's this conflicting feeling of like, okay, I'm glad to hear from you. I'm glad I'm being offered the promotion. I'm glad I'm being offered this, or I'm glad that you're interested. You know, I'm interested in you too, if that's a you know romance thing for you. But there's something that you don't have all the information about. So it is, and that's good, to take a rest and having the strength to stand up and say, no, because I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who has a little bit of an ego problem, who isn't used to people saying no to them, okay? So it might be, how dare you say no to this opportunity? You know, people are lining up for this opportunity, whether it's with someone who thinks that they get a lot of love partners or, you know, maybe it's a boss or something. Or it could be even a parental figure who comes in and says, hey, I figured out this thing for you. And you come in and you're like, give it a rest, parents, leave me alone. Like I, I'm gonna stand in my own strength. I'm going to do this for myself. Uh, I don't think I read this one. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. Yeah, there is, I'm sorry guys, there, there's a lot of different messaging going on here. There's another message here that something that you have been resting on for a while, okay? finally gets reignited again and what you discover and what you learn from this ooh, it takes a minute it's like I need to sit with this new information again I feel like it's someone going hey I want to marry you you're like well, we just started dating or we want to promote you to this you know thing that's this job that's like two steps above where you are now and you might have a moment of I gotta think about this and this is encouraging you to lean on your intuition. Again, it's different for everybody who's watching this. This is a general reading. That's where this gets a little tough, okay? But for everybody, there is this conflict between, you know, this masculine energy and this divine feminine energy. And this person, I think they mean well, but they, they're so logistical. I know this isn't like, it's not an air card, but I'm getting the feeling that they are just used to being very logistical. They're very creative and they're very like forward moving. And so they might say, Come on, come for the ride. And you're saying, whoa, 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 wait, not so fast. I don't have all the information. Part of the problem with this King of Gabriel character, okay, is that, you know, again, they mean well, but they're only looking at things through their lens. They're not realizing that their way of seeing things is not how everyone see th sees things. They're not realizing that what they're offering may, you know, in their mind is this great offer, but for you, you're like, no, no, hang on, that's gonna require me to move, or that's gonna require me to really shake up my life. So there is something that breaks open. So that's a nice energy here, and things get moving. So it might be coming out of a, a sleepy time, and yet you, you're gonna say no for a second. <laughs> it's not no permanently, it's no for now. All right, so there is that part of it. Let me grab a color card. We're gonna do it just a little bit differently for this week. Okay, so we'll do the color card and then I will pull some romance cards. You can decide whether you wanna stay or go, but I do hope that you will join me for a writing session, even if it's journaling, you know, see what messages come through. See if you get some sort of spiritual guidance, right? Okay. That's a complicated situation because it, it has emotions. It, it has this feeling of like some sort of business deal 
that has emotions behind it. So if you have a business partner that maybe you went into business with a sibling or you went into business partnership, whatever, with a friend and you care about the person, but it's like, okay, you know, how you see the world is not just how it always is. I have my fireplace going. I don't know if you can see that. So it's popping a little bit back there. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys. Oh, there it is sticking right out. Brilliance. Discover your sparkle. The number is 26. See, here's the thing. Someone is stuck in their ways. They've taken the pre-prescribed life. They've done everything that everyone else has told them to do. And that's great. You know, if that's what they're comfortable doing, all well and good. What this is saying here is you're on your own path. Maybe some of you are taking the hard way, <laughs> right? So I'm not saying if somebody comes forward and they have an offer for you, negotiate. Don't, don't just say no, just say no for the moment. Like let's, let's work on some more details here. But this is you going on a whole different path and trying to open up, you know, deeper levels of yourself and let it be expressed. And yet there's this feeling here, again, artists, you know how it is. It's very hard to make, or it can be difficult to make money off of your art. And so, you know, you might not be as stable in your fifties as some other people who went and got a corporate job right out of college or, you know, whatever, you're gonna have a very different lifestyle. And so there is some sense here of coming to peace with where your life is. And I feel like that King of Gabriel comes forward and says, you know, deal of the century. I've got, come on, when are you, when are you gonna, you know, step up and basically, ooh, for some of you, it might be like, when are you gonna grow up? Assuming that you're not a grown up because you didn't take the path that they did, right? So this is a lot about getting your confidence, your strength, understanding that you are on your path, they are on theirs. There can be this coming together here later on. And it doesn't need to be a battle, necessarily but you don't need to get swept up in this fiery energy of whoever this person is now for some of you again it's a general reading that energy might be you maybe you're the one that's getting sort of consumed by your ideas but they're not being grounded okay and so if you don't know how to move forward if you're feeling stuck or hung up in a certain situation that's where meditation and quiet can bring the answers i am going to be pulling some romance cards here if this is where you decide to click off the video thank you so much for being here thank you for subscribing liking and sharing it helps me out a ton i do hope to see you in other videos if you're hanging around for the romance reading let's get into it okay you know what let's do two um I'll try to remember when I'm editing to put timestamps in. If I forget, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you guys are so amazing. Someone will always put the timestamps in there. So let's first start with a singles reading, okay? It's for singles. And then we'll go on to partners. And again, I will just pull all the cards, getting to know each other engagement we'll talk about that because there's gonna be different levels here pay attention to the red flags this immediately feels like red flags within you and also within a partner so this could be someone that you're just meeting or that's coming and healing family issues all right watch out for the karmic collect i can't talk watch out for the karmic connections i said collections What's that about? All right, so we've got, here, let me put them in order. We've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So here's the thing. For some of you, there could be someone coming in. Now, if you're a single person and you're like, eh, I, I'm just listening for entertainment purposes. I'm not really looking. <laughs> if you push out love, then, you know, you can wait until you are ready. That's all, that's all well and good. For some of you, I think that this was uh, a setup, like somebody, <laughs> somebody set you up and now they're watching very carefully because it does have this element of pressure there. Uh, some of you also might have someone coming in. Again, watch the whole first part of this video. There's this pushy kind of energy, like, I know what I'm doing and here we go. And this works out for me. So obviously it's going to work out for you. Make sure you are setting your boundaries. Uh, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now, could this literally be some of you getting engaged? Maybe. I mean, it is Valentine's Day week. So maybe someone is planning that for you. But um, 
This is being more engaged in paying attention to the connection that is forming. Or for some of you getting more engaged in being honest with yourself about what you want. How many of us sit here and say, I want love, 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 I want love. And then someone comes in and you're like, ugh, I mean, I would go on that date, but I have this big project I want to take care of. And the project actually excites you more than the idea of going on a date. If that's where you are, that's okay. Unfortunately, we have a lot of societal pressures, um, knocking my cards around. <laughs> we have these societal pressures and these expectations put on us that says that, you know, you should be da 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 da. And even Valentine's Day, I'm single on Valentine's Day and Easter. Those are like my favorite, favorite holidays. And people get so upset around Valentine's Day and go, no, I can't. So, please, you want to see my front door, okay? I <laughs> did it up. And I, as, as you can see, I'm not afraid to be cheesy. Although maybe on camera, this looks cute. I don't know. Anyway, don't be so hard on yourselves. And, you know, putting that kind of energy into it, that's not going to help anything. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. This is why I think this is like maybe a karmic person coming in. Someone is triggering you. Um, watch out for the charmers. Watch out for people who just met you and they're forcing, you know, some sort of intimacy. Like, oh, I could see us being soulmates. And you don't even know them. Or, you know, I know you're the one. And it's like, you know, obviously if they don't know you, that's not a true story. All right. So watch out for that. But being engaged with and understanding the things that get triggered within you, those are things that need to be healed. All right. So healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That's interesting because it mentions parents. And I was saying earlier that it could be some like parental interference. Maybe that's the person who's trying to shove somebody onto you saying you should be married now because that's what we expect. Therefore, <laughs> there you go. You need to be doing it too. But this is for me when this came all kind of came out, there could be someone around you who is coming into your world or might maybe you're already kind of dating this person they are here to reflect back what you need to heal okay now again it's a general reading so we can't really sit here and say what's going to happen for everybody but regardless um the things that are triggering you or things that kind of okay that's a little weird listen to that number one thing that people do is they ignore the signs the red flags and next thing you know they're in these horrible relationships or they don't understand when the partnership ends that it needed to end. I mean, that's, it's done its thing and it's time to move on. Now, if you heal through whatever this is, you are releasing karma and you can do some karma clearing around your love life, right? If you want to. And the knowledge that you get from this and what you, the growth, you know, what you take away, that can set you up for real love. Now, maybe that's a deepening of the connection with the person who's there, or maybe that serves its purpose and you move on and someone else comes in. If you're saying, Michelle, again, you know, none of this is resonating with me because I'm single and I'm not looking for anybody. Okay, well, right there, you're coming to the table making a decision to push love out or to take a break from love. Not that you're pushing it, you know, maybe it's just not, <laughs> not what you want right now and that is fine. All right, so I hope that makes some sense for you guys. Let's move on to couples. Okay, couples, I'm just gonna grab, who. okay, hang on, oh God. Oh, this is not what we want, <laughs> oh God, okay. Don't be mad at me, couples, okay? It's a general readings, it's not gonna pertain to everybody, okay? First card out is deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Now, what this could mean is feeling like you can't be honest with your partner about who you are because you're afraid that you're not going to live up to their fantasy of you. I was just watching a TikTok actually. And there was, it was like a prank TikTok and a girlfriend doing this on her boyfriend. And the guy gets up and he starts yelling at her and being diminishing and, and talking to her like a child. 
and everyone's laughing about this. I didn't think it was funny. I did not think it was funny that this guy, you know, she was playing. He didn't know that she was pranking him, but just his natural reaction, his blind reaction to that situation was not good. It was not good. And I would venture to guess that, that that woman is probably still with him, you know, not even seeing that, hey, there's something a little off about that. Uh, so if you are in a partnership uh, where you feel like you're feeling pressured to be a certain way or to take a certain kind of behavior, um, there needs to be a cleansing of that. There definitely needs to be a cleansing of that. We have this forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I'm telling you, there could be things surfacing here where you know, it could be really minor. It's like, I've been making broccoli for you all these years. You don't even like broccoli? Like, <laughs> how could you not tell me? You know, kind of thing. Or this, remember, souls come together maybe sometimes to open things up within each other. And whatever your pattern is that needs to be healed, the best thing that you can do is to roll with that lesson. One of the biggest gifts I ever experienced was having this guy cheat on me. It was the only thing that woke me up to an abusive situation. All right, now I, listen, some of you are like, Michelle, are you I, like, I got this great love partnership. Hang on, this is just the first layer of messaging that's coming up um, and, and the most forceful. So we're talking to some people here and we'll get to you in just a second. But this whole forgiving and learning has to do with forgiving yourself and learning what your patterns are. That way you don't accept horrible treatment. That way you don't um, just go along to get along. You don't just overlook things, okay? New love. Now, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I will never tell anybody to cheat. I will never say it's okay for you to cheat. I don't care who you are, what, you, what you're doing. Energy is energy. I don't make the rules, okay? <laughs> now, this does not mean that someone, like, I know, again, couples hang with me. Just hang with me. Hold each other's hands. I'm here with you. I'm here with you, okay? Just, just hang on a second here. New love. Now, what this could be for some of you, okay? You learned something about your partner. You've learned something about yourself. You're healing from that. Maybe this is, I feel like that's already happened. Like, you've already discovered it. So some of you are reevaluating. Maybe you're realizing that you are taking some of your past issues and bringing them into your current partnership and you're releasing that and healing that. And now you have a chance to deepen that love. Okay, so that's what that could mean. For some of you, are you breaking up with someone? It, it could be. It could be and you're finding new love. That's definitely um, a possibility for some. Remember, it's a general reading. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Most of you who are watching, this is where we get to the good stuff. Most of you who are watching, oh man, I'm not getting, this coat is terrible. I'm waiting to see like, like a dryer sheet hanging off of me. It, it attracts everything. I've knocked everything around. I had jewelry hanging off of this because I went to grab earrings and the earrings were just, it's a mess. Okay. <laughs> so here's what I think for a lot of you, what's going on here. Maybe some hard discussions some hard discussions about the relationship. Um, some people are growing and maybe you feel like you're growing apart, but really it's a time for communication. Okay, it's a time for communication. This is what, you know, I'm, this is where I'm at right now. Where are you right now? How are we feeling about this? And we realized that someone was just trying to maybe go along to get along, you know, didn't wanna cause any trouble, you know, and maybe again, that's something that you need to learn how to heal, not being afraid. You know, if your relationship is healthy, you should be able to have an open conversation with your loved one, right? So for a lot of you, what ends up happening, there's a deepening of this love because you've had this conversation and you've done some healing and now that you're, you're almost like in a new honeymoon phase. So if you're married, there is a new spark going on here. And I say, go for it, yes. <laughs> Have your like happy couple time. Have that honeymoon. Or if you never got to, if you're married, you never got to have a honeymoon. There you go. You figure out something that you can do. Be creative. And this can be a deepening of that connection. But again, it has this feeling of we're, there's something here that hasn't come up to the surface yet. And once it does, we can clear that up. And then it's like falling in love with each other all over again. All right. So we're going to leave it there for everybody. I'm sending you so much love and take care.